Peace, family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Now, I know you may be looking at my shirt, or you may look at my shirt throughout the video, and you may say, hey, you know, what does that say on this shirt? I can't really see it. Um, it seems like it says something. Now, this actually says Cartagena de India. And basically, this is where I went when I uh, went to Colombia, um, South America, and I went to Colombia, and I enjoyed myself last year, um, and I learned a lot. Um, a lot that I did not even know. Um, but there's much to be learned, you know, when you travel around the world and you see different things and talk to different people. So that's actually what that says. Cartagena is the city in um, Colombia. Nonetheless, now the subject that I will be discussing with you all is inaccurate items. Now, I will not spend a, a lot of time on this. I can, but I want to make it brief so you all can understand. And understanding how impactful um, inaccurate items can be on your credit report. The reason why is because most people do not even know that they have as many inaccurate um, accounts on a credit report that is actually lowering their credit score. So if you have a trained eye, you can see every single thing that's actually inaccurate and, and then you have to go about disputing those particular items because if not, it can actually lower your credit score tremendously. So you have to go through your credit report. If you don't want to do that, you can actually have us do it for you. We would love to be able to assist you, to be able to just notate everything so you can be able to uh, correct and rectify all those issues because you want to have the best and most optimal credit score possible and you have to be able to remove the inaccurate accounts. Now, what do you mean by inaccurate uh, uh, accounts? Um, how do I be able to identify this? Okay, so I'll give you an example. So say, for instance, if you have a Capital One card and with this particular Capital One card, um, two accounts or two credit reports such as Experian and TransUnion may show this particular account as being open. And then Equifax may show it as being closed. Now, depending on if it's open or closed, I will say this, that most credit card accounts, or if not all, you want to actually keep these particular accounts open. Um, because if you have them as open, then that particular account will show up as a good credit mixture and then that actually boost your credit score. But I will say this, so with this particular account, if it's actually open um, and you are paying on this particular account, you want it to be reported as open and not closed because say for instance, if it's, let's say May of 2019, if it's still open today and you're paying on it, you don't want it to be shown up as, as, as it was closed in let's say March or January because that particular time period, those three, those two, to um, five months that was supposed to be reporting is no longer being reported. Therefore, you're not getting that payment history shown up on your credit report. And you will see it, I, I'm telling you, you will see these inaccurate accounts. And if you do not dispute them, they will just stay on your credit report and lower your credit scores. So if you have, like say for instance, if the account is open, then you want it to remain open. You don't want it to be um, show up as closed and you're not getting a most optimal um, experience or the optimal benefits of this particular uh, account if it's not being re reported correctly. Or like let's say for instance with, with an installment loan such as um, you know an auto loan. You want for this particular auto loan if you paid it off and, and, and the account is zero sometimes you will see that this particular account will be reported as open and not closed. If you pay this particular account off, then it should be reported as closed and not open because if it's open, that means that you have not completed the debt and therefore the payment status of it is not going to be reported co correctly. And anytime you're dealing with auto loans or loans in general, the, the thing that you want to do is that you want to be able to pay it off and then have it closed. And like revolving accounts, revolving accounts, you want to keep it open and you want it to be revolving as it say, so it so reports every month. So I want you to be able to be very, very mindful of your credit reports and how inaccurate it is. There are other things that you can actually do um, that if you want to ask me any questions in the comment section below, I can be able to explain that to you because many things, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I want you to know that, you know, I want you to go with your credit report um, carefully if you're doing it yourself. If not, we can actually do it for you. You can hire us to be able to go over everything for you and then we can talk with you and let you know, okay, this is inaccurate. It's not being reported correctly. These balances are not being reported correctly because sometimes you look at the balances, overall balances, and one balance may be, let's say, for instance, $15,000.
that was paid off, but then the other balance may not be reporting fifteen thousand dollars, may be reporting like seven thousand dollars, and you want it to be reported correctly. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us, credithealing at gmail.com, or if you're ready to get started, please go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.